question driven development. What is it and how exactly can you use it to your advantage? Now this might sound super fancy, but trust me, it's actually a super accessible way to improve your problem solving abilities, whether you're a seasoned coder or just starting out. I use QDD at every stage of development to efficiently build and ship projects. Well, mostly just to build because just like most programmers, I thoroughly enjoy spending hundreds of hours working on a bunch of projects that will likely never see the light of day. QDD is a mentality. It's actually a way of thinking for developers or more accurately for engineers. Now, before I tell you the specifics of how to implement this technique, I want you to know that there is a prerequisite. You must have either a project, a goal or an idea that you're trying to complete. Once you have that, you next need to understand the fundamental components of what makes a question a question. In engineering, there are four basic types of questions that I consider to be the most important. Now, you don't need to memorize all of these. You just need to be aware that they do exist. The first type is clarifying questions. These are simple questions of fact geared at getting a better understanding of something. For instance, uh, what games are being released within the next year that could possibly compete with my own? Then we have adjoining questions. These are questions that attempt to expand an existing knowledge base. For instance, how do physics equations in real life apply to those in game engines like Godot and Unity? Next, you have funneling questions. These are questions that attempt to find out more detail about a very specific point. For instance, what are the functions for getting player input in the Godot engine? And lastly, we have elevating questions. These are questions that attempt to give you a broader overview of your project or your goal, and they kind of tie you back into reality in a way. For instance, how does adding this new component impact our player satisfaction? Now that you have a basic understanding of engineering questions, you can start implementing question-driven development. Let's say that your goal is to build a replica of Pac-Man and we have no idea where to start. This is where question-driven development begins. You're going to start by creating a list of questions and tick them off whenever they're complete. For instance, you can start with how do I make a game? And the answer to that is going to vary, but for the most part, it's going to be using game engines. Next, you can ask yourself, well, which game engine should I choose? The first one you come across is the Unreal Engine, and you see that it's great for 3D games with incredible graphics. Next, you see that Unity is good for both 2D and 3D games, but it has a very questionable monetization policy. Lastly, you come across Godot. You see that it's free and that it can basically go pound for pound with Unity. So since you're making a 2D game, you choose Godot. Well, now that you have your game engine loaded, you can ask yourself, well, how do I make a 2D picture move. You do your research, you find the answer, and you implement it into your code. Now, I know that at this point, you're probably going to ask yourself, how do I know if I'm doing this correctly? And the truth is that there is no correct way to do it, so long as you're accomplishing your goal. Some people like to do art first, others like to start with functionality, but at the end of the day, it's completely up to you. Contrary to what the cult of productivity, efficiency, and speed might have us believe, taking the time for inquiry and understanding will unlock immense value. It's the equivalent of sharpening the axe before cutting down the tree. With that being said, Thank you for watching and until next time.